Hey guys, it's Aislinn, and if you did not see my last video on Friday, I will leave a link up here. Basically, ColourPop released hair dye, and here we are. I am going to dye my hair with the shade Chestnut. This is like a beautiful coppery brown shade. Absolutely stunning, and this is a horrible idea, okay? I know this is a horrible idea. This color stains the hair. Any brown copper semi-permanent color tends to stain the hair very badly but you know what i don't care i don't care i will deal with the consequences later i've been growing out my roots for well over a year now and i will be bleaching them sometime soon but i'm not ready yet and my birthday isn't exactly one week from today so next monday it is my birthday and i really don't want to have like this hair it's just, I'm over it. I want something new and fresh. I want to feel cute and happy on my birthday. And also I've just been sad lately and I need a drastic change. I've been feeling the coppers, the autumn weather is coming and I'm ready for some copper ass hair. So we're going to be dyeing my hair copper today. And I think that this darker copper will do a very good job at blending in my roots to my ends and it'll give my roots a little bit of a coppery tint. I'm also going to be dyeing these money pieces, but I'm gonna be doing a lighter copper color. Ideally, I would have wanted to leave these front two pieces blonde with the rest copper, but my hair currently still has a bluish tint to it and it would not look cute with like copper back here and blue up here. So what I've done is I've created some swatches here. So let me walk you through what we're doing. So this first swatch right here is the actual hair color color tint and then this swatch right here is the colored conditioner so you can see there's quite a bit of a difference in the color this is really dark and this is a little bit too light for me so I just went ahead and mixed a little bit of conditioner in with the original tint color and also added some Olaplex number three in there to create this middle shade right here it's still all ColourPop hair dye I just diluted it a little bit with some Olaplex to make a little bit of a lighter version so it's not quite so dark and then this end swatch right here is just the colored conditioner with some Olaplex number three. So this end color right here is going to be what my money pieces are. I basically just wanted to create a color that was light enough to cover up this blue and cancel it out, but also would dye my hair. Hopefully it's dark enough. I'm a little worried that it's not dark enough to cancel out these blue tones I have, but we're gonna have to just wait and see. So let's start dyeing my hair because honestly, I couldn't be more excited. I have no fear at all right now, which is dangerous. <laughs> this is a dangerous place for me to be. Impulsively dyeing my hair and having no fear about the future is a little scary, but you know what? This will bring me temporary happiness. So it's worth whatever I have to go through in the future. And honestly, my hair is so healthy right now. All of this is virgin hair. So if I do have to do anything drastic to try and get this color out, my hair is in great health, okay? I feel like I've waited long enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and section off this front area right here. I'm gonna start with these front pieces and this is the light color I have mixed up. It's very, very light. It's basically just like a lot of Olaplex number three with a tiny bit of that conditioner. I'm just hoping it's enough to cover this. I'm gonna apply this on this front section and then let it sit for a minute while I apply the back section and hopefully the color becomes a little bit more vibrant. I think this is gonna work, okay? I think, I have faith. This is gonna work. Are you guys excited that I'm dyeing my hair something insane? Because I am so excited. I'm hoping that I have enough time to fade this out before I like bleach my roots and stuff. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna do a good job at canceling out those tones. I'm feeling good about this. Boop, okay, let's do this side. Oh yeah. I'm excited to have this blue color gone. I also need to bleach this front part, but I'm holding off. I'm just gonna let it grow out until I bleach all of my roots. I don't really feel like touching this up. This ColourPop hair color, you guys, I'm telling you what, y'all need to try it. It's bomb.com. I really, really like it. It's so easy to work into the hair, like just the consistency of it. I like the color selection. It seems to be fairly easy to remove. Obviously the chestnut color is not included in that statement, okay? The chestnut color, any coppery chestnut brown is not easy to remove out of the hair when it's semi-permanent, so. 
that's okay. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but before I started YouTube, I had like red hair for years. Like my hair was in the best health ever because I would just all the time dye it red with actual color and not semi-permanent dye. Like I would use actual permanent hair dye and dye my hair red at work. It was like a professional color, but I loved having red hair and I had it, like I said, for years. So I feel like maybe going copper will probably give me that same nostalgic feeling of when I had red hair. I don't think I've ever had copper hair intentionally. I did have copper hair back in December when I used overtone that was brown and it faded to like this coppery orange, but I've never intentionally dyed my hair copper. Oh, look at this. This is gonna be beautiful, you guys. Are you so excited? <gasps> I'm so excited. Look at this. Are you kidding me? This looks gorgeous. Stop it right now. We have this front section applied. Let's do the rest, shall we? You guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, making my mouth water. Oh, this gorgeous, rich copper. Oh, please. I need this on my head now. Enough talk, more action. Let's go, baby. I know this is just gonna tint my natural hair color and make it a beautiful copper. Just gonna apply this all over. I'm excited to see like my natural color become something different than what it has been. Cause I've just been doing the pastels and obviously pastel colors don't change my natural color. So I've just had my ends be colors for the past like six months or more. I'm excited to have something that's dark enough. It's gonna actually change what my natural color looks like. Ah, I'm so excited. Look at how gorgeous and rich this color is compared to my natural color. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, can I say I'm so excited anymore? Jeez. Okay, let's cover up these blonde ends. Goodbye, blonde. Copper is in town for fall. Oh yeah. Wow, I'm gonna look cute for my birthday. I'm gonna look cute for my birthday. I just wanna say, even if I wanted to just use that chestnut color straight out of that tub without diluting it, I definitely would not have had enough color in this little jar to do my whole head. So I would have had to mix it with something else in order to use it all on my head. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be stunning. This is gonna be stunning. She's gonna be a beautiful girl again. Oh yeah. She's about to look bomby dot -com -y. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would like to eat you. I feel like all people switch between accents from different countries all the time. Like every single, maybe it's just Americans, but like every American person I know somehow accumulates like Australian and British accents throughout their life. And we just switch off and on. We're just like all of a sudden we're American and then the next second we are acting like we're British. And I don't know why we do that. It's actually pretty odd. <laughs> Let me know if you do that. I'd love to know that I'm not alone in that and other people do it. I'm about to be a happy, happy girl. I'm telling you that right now. I'm about to be so happy. Oh yeah, this feels so silky. Oh my gosh, you guys, this color. My chair is so squeaky, by the way. Like if you keep hearing squeaking, it's not me farting. It's my chair that's going crazy. My husband has already WD-40'd it once, but I did find this chair in an alleyway by a dumpster and picked it up. You know, I'm not paying for a chair if there's one free. It's actually a pretty decent office chair, but I've had it basically since I started YouTube and I've been using it. So I will be buying a new chair in the next six months or so, maybe a year, give me some time, but I will buy a better chair that doesn't squeak. But in the meantime, we're gonna have to deal with some squeakiness. Of course, when I want it to squeak, it doesn't. Boom. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I'm doing this right now. I may be sad later, but ya bitch is happy right now. <laughs> I feel like that song, ain't nothing gonna slow me down, oh no. That's how I'm feeling right now. The song's just like playing in my head. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Ain't nothing gonna slow me down, oh no. We got to keep on dying. Our hair, too much caffeine, not enough food. The mania is accelerating. This hair dye is about to make me feel incredible. What if I just rinse this, blow dry it, and I'm like, what the? 
I hate it. I've been seeing so many people with copper hair and it's just like really ignited this flame for me. I thought, I've actually been thinking about dyeing my hair copper for like a month or more. I've just been like thinking about it, sitting on it. And then ColourPop goes and sends me this package with this coppery color in it. I'm like, why would you do that to me? You're gonna send me copper when I'm thinking about dyeing my hair copper? That is a bad idea. I mean, really, they have six colors and they just happen to send me that one. It's a sign. Man, I haven't had to dye my whole head in a minute. Like this is a lot more work than just putting color on the ends of my hair. Underneath here, there's like barely any blonde. Let's go. You know what the good thing is about like impulsive hair dyeing is that I am fully self-aware. It's not like I'm going into this not knowing what I'm getting myself into. I fully know that this stains the hair and that it's very difficult to get out of the hair, but I just don't care. Like I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get it out of my hair in the future. That's why nobody should say that's a bad idea because you act like I don't know. It's a horrible idea. I'm gonna try not to remove this with a color remover. I'm actually gonna try and just let it fade out to like a really, really light orangey color and then bleach my roots because I do have time. Like I can bleach my roots whenever I want. I could wait another six months if I wanted to. So like I'm gonna try and fade this on its own as much as possible before going in with the color remover. I'm not just gonna like jump straight to doing color oops or eliminate or any of that stuff. You guys, I'm feeling like copper is meant to be my hair color because seeing this next to my skin tone, it kind of looks like it's naturally supposed to be my hair color. I have not had a deep color like this in so long. Cannot wait to see what it looks like. Yeah, baby. Let's get it. Look how pretty this is though, are you kidding me? Pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin spice bitch right here. I think it's about time to go Halloween shopping. Literally nobody could have convinced me not to do this. Nobody. Oh wow, this feels good. I'm not used to having color on my scalp. That shit feels nice, bro. Having this shit on my scalp feels good. Feels cooling and refreshing and like my scalp is getting a little hydrating treatment. Okay, this is definitely worked into the max. Like, oh yeah, this is, this is beyond saturated. I'm going to let this sit for 45 minutes. That's what the package says. It says for more intense vibrant colors, you can leave it on like two hours, but I feel like it's already going to be very vibrant. So I think 45 minutes is good. Not too long, not too short, 45 minutes should do the trick. So I'm gonna let this process. I'm gonna rinse it using cold water so that way the color doesn't fade. And I will be back once my hair is blow dried to show you guys the finished results. And I think it's gonna be stunning. Okay, goodbye. I'm sorry, but you guys are not ready for this. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh you guys this was a great decision i am absolutely obsessed with this color are you kidding me it looks so beautiful so even so rich so soft and shiny it looks incredible like it looks so good on my new growth and it also looks beautiful on my ends like in this front color this hair is insane. And like, I honestly feel like in another life, redhead was like my natural color because it suits my skin tone so well. Like I just feel like the coppers and the reds go flawlessly with my skin tone. It just complements each other. It looks so good. I'm in love with these front two pieces. This is the exact color I wanted. It canceled out the blue. There is absolutely no blue, no mint left in these front pieces and it's still blonde, but it has that like almost rosy copper tone to it. And it goes really well with like all of the color over here. Like, oh my gosh, this hair color is it. This is exactly what I was wanting. Like, I feel good. I feel like a new bitch. Like, I'm a shapeshifter. I am ready to celebrate my birthday. Like, oh my gosh, I needed this. 
feel like I can go another six months without bleaching my roots now because I just feel so refreshed and like a brand new bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Like, I hope you guys can see the actual tones and how gorgeous they are. Like, stunning. It, somehow it made my hair look healthier than what it was. Overall, I love this hair dye. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Hopefully it's not all sold out because it is like a recent product. Let me spin around and give you a 360 of what my hair looks like so you can see it from all angles, okay? Here's the back. It looks so nice and beautiful. Here is my damaged side. Still beautiful, just like the rest. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Like, look at this. Gorgeous. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. If you were to follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a week ago that I was doing this hair color. So I post like more up-to-date things on there. So the link to that is in the description down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time guys, stay weird. Bye. I mean